Tell us about the relationship between your characters. You go to her, and you need a little, I don't know, what is your interest in, in Haley's character? Well, she's got political clout. Hayes Morrison is the former First Order of the United States. She's a brilliant lawyer, and she brings, she lends credibility to the Conviction Integrity Unit, which my character, Connor Wallace, creates and blackmails her into running. We, we have some sort of history, professional, but also you know, he was he was kind of my nemesis, or Hayes' nemesis before she turned up at the Conviction Integrity Unit. So they're kind of, they've met their match. It's a battle of wills and kind of, and stamina really. And there's the attempt to chink away at each other's armor and push each other's buttons, which is very attractive. It's, it's how kind of, they have mental orgasms. No, it's um, it's very thrilling you know, to, to, for Hayes to meet someone who can match her and also knows how to play that game and knows what her agenda is and sees right through it and cha genuinely challenges her. So, Kaylee, once your character sort of settles into her role, are you a threat to him? Is she a threat to you at some point? I think so, yeah. I think there's constant tension because they, you know, he, we've both got, I think we've both got dirt on each other. He, he knows that my character was in prison for cocaine possession. And he has the power to send Hayes to jail because of that. So he blackmails her into taking this job. And she, on the other hand, within that, has quite a lot of power to try and undermine him as, um, as a prosecutor by how she deals with the cases. So. Yeah. Um, so what kind of things are we gonna see each week? Are you dealing with a new case, trying to get someone out of jail each week? And like, sort of, how are your, how are your interactions with them? It will be a, 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 a case per week, yes, exactly. And the unit gets five days um, in showtime to, to determine whether or not, um, you know, said incarceree was put in there rightfully or wrongfully. Tell me a little bit about, like, reading some of these scripts, because I feel like it's going to tear at your heart each week, too. I mean, the first episode, you know, there's some, some really emotional moments, especially toward the end. Yeah, I think that when you put a, something like a fast pace legal exposition, this case, seeing it through to the end, that's kind of the dramatic landscape. And then within that landscape, you have the, these characters who all have their own secrets and their backstories. And Hayes' one is very much rooted on a very tempestuous relationship with her mother that does cause her genuine pain and how she navigates her way through that on every encounter that she has with her. And at the same time, the way that she does that is she acts out. She's promiscuous and she self-medicates and she's messy and she can't keep it together and she's always about to fall off her own cliff and it's just kind of seeing how far she'll go each week and how big the risk is Lastly, tell me about the fashion you guys get to wear on the show do you get to wear really nice suits or are they like designers you get to really nice i wear really nice suits i've had a couple zania suits and i've had some, a few shirts custom made for me which is quite a privilege yeah it's wonderful yeah, I was like, I think Hayes wears Valentino a lot. And they were like, okay. <laughs> what about Dodging Varner? So I've had some beautiful, beautiful clothes, exquisite tailoring, a lot of like Alexander McQueen as well. So I felt that with Hayes going into this corporate world, she doesn't she doesn't dress from the from the high street. She's she's high end. She's got an edge to her. So things like McQueen that always have that slight, slight kind of strange cut or a skull on the shoe, or like a spike in the heel. It just, I think it tells you a lot about kind of how dangerous she is.